Hey guys, Luke Jackman here, Team Exos, bringing you sort of another five minute mindset piece. This one, um, a little spontaneous because it was inspired by my seven year old. And uh, she is a voracious reader, which makes me very, very happy. Everybody in my family is, I'm not bragging or anything, but yes, we are readers. So it's, you know, it's one of those family things that we can all share. And whenever it's passed on, uh, yeah, it's nice. Uh, but she just got uh, these new these new kids books that uh, you know they're kind of cartoony they have a pug in them and yeah they're, they're like comic books and you know I look at it I still love comic books I've always loved comic books um, but she said to me Papa is it okay if I really if I really like to read these and I thought to myself oh my god it begins already um, because she is reading chapter books, which which is great. But I said, I said, sweetie, reading is reading. And it is always a good thing. Read things that make you laugh. Read things that are easy. Read things that are hard. Read things that scare you, not too much. You know, read things that relax you and put you to bed. There should be no stipulations on reading whatsoever. This doesn't mean that we should not challenge ourselves. But it instantly put me in a place, probably with the last, oh, I think this is going to sound bad, probably the last five adults that I have talked to about books, because if anybody likes talking about books, it's me. And it's either, it either has to be self-help. You have to be reading something that is going to put you forward in life. It's going to make you a better person. Um, I don't know, I've read a couple of those, and... Yeah, you know, every once in a while, I, you know, there was a, uh, I, yeah, you get little tidbits here and there, but oh my God, if I dedicated the, you know, my reading life to that, um, yeah, it wouldn't last long. Or the individual tells you about a novel that they read and they said, yeah, but it was a light read. And I kind of sit there and I'm like, well, what constitutes a light read? Are we all supposed to be strictly reading the classics? You know, if you're not reading Moby Dick, then you're wasting your time? No, that is not the case. Reading makes you smarter. Reading lets you relate to people on different levels. Reading, I don't know, reading has helped me. And so reading is an escape. Reading is an absolute escape, especially in this time of COVID. If you do not have a novel, a fictitious novel, that just lets you deploy from reality for a while, you are missing out. All reading is good. You should never feel bad about anything that you are... Uh, maybe there's some things out there you shouldn't be reading, but we won't go into that. Um, you should never feel bad about anything normal that you are reading. It's all good. It all builds, and to, to, be, to be completely honest, I don't know where I would be without it. So, read your books. Go find a new one. Go find some fiction. You know, look in the bestsellers, or you know the authors that you used to read before it turned into nothing but self-help, or, uh, you know, before you started feeling guilty about reading the new Stephen King, or something like that. You know, look up your old authors. I bet you they've been busy. Read. I don't care. As long as my daughters read, that's all I care about. You know, I know if they, you know, they, if they're reading nothing but Garfield, which isn't even really around anymore, I just completely dated myself, but it will move and amount to other things. No judgments on reading. Read what you want to read as long as you're reading. Thank you, Luke Shackman, Team Exos.